Good morning everyone. So it's our last day in Banff and we actually just checked out of the Sunshine Mountain Lodge. We have all our stuff and we're taking taking the gondola back down to our car. So we're gonna spend the day here because tonight we're heading to Calgary. And one of the things that I really wanted to do yesterday was the canoes at Lake Louise. But it was really, really busy and by the time we got back from our hike, it was a little bit late and we needed to go to dinner. So uh, hopefully today we can get that done. And I think we also wanna go see Lake Moraine as well. So that's the plan. I don't know what order we're gonna do it. We're still kind of like trying to figure out what to do, where to park, because it's so busy and you can't even really get parking close to some places. So we're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoy our last day in Bath. So we actually just got to the Fairmont. Look how amazing the lake looks today. I think it definitely looks a lot more incredible today than it does yesterday because the sun's out, there's not a cloud in the sky. And yesterday was a tiny bit cloudy, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Oh my gosh. So right now we are just on our way to um, the canoe. So I really want to take a canoe and uh, just, you know, canoe around Lake Louise. I think it's going to be a really, really fun. And I don't think you can't really do it anywhere else. And plus, I think it's going to make for a really cool, like, Instagram photo. So that's where we're going now. Fingers crossed the light isn't so long. Alright, so life jackets are mandatory. <laughs> I look pretty ridiculous with a life jacket and a denim jacket on at the same time. But we're just about to jump into our little canoe Oh my now. gosh guys, we are canoeing. Check out this view though. This is absolutely insane, worth every single penny. It's a little bit expensive, it's about nine, about $100 for, for half an hour. Or $100 for an hour, $105 for an hour. Um, but seeing as I don't really spend on alcohol, I feel like this is well worth the, well worth the money. Just Wow, I'm so excited. So basically what we're doing right now is we are, I'm doing the camera and transferring into the center point so we can get a really cool little Instagram shot. I just can't believe where we are though. Look how turquoise this water is. How are you enjoying it over there? I'm liking it. Isn't it so cool? My Monday or my Saturday morning workout. Saturday morning workout. We haven't been to the gym today. Just so, today, yeah. yeah so. Good little workout. Yesterday's hike was a little workout, I think. Whoa! Uh, our canoeing and uh, had such a nice time. I think you can never, like, there's no other place in the world that's like that. One of the most, like, it was really, like, just tranquil. It was so peaceful. The yeah. color of the water, everything about it was just absolutely amazing. I feel like it's one of those things that you might come here and you're like, nah, we don't want a canoe. We just want to see that we've seen the lake already. But doing the canoe actually just makes all the difference. So, yeah, got the full Lake Louise experience right there. So we just late left Lake Louise and the plan was actually to head to Lake Moraine but we got to the entrance and it was completely full and it was like a $30, um, we had to go, basically they said you got to go find a shuttle and then we went to, finally found the shuttle they're like oh it's $30 a person to just get to the lake and we didn't really know what to expect so we were like nah we'll just leave that. We drove a little bit further on and we came to an area or uh, called Johnson Canyon. So we wanted to go see this, the Johnson Falls, which was recommended to us. Um, and that's where we're gonna be heading now. We just found a little um, parking area on the street. So that was really, really nice. And it's free, so that's always a plus. Wow, so we just got to 
this Johnson Canyon area and we're just walking through to get to the falls and we're looking down at the stream and the water is like so clear that you can probably drink it. Um, you, can, you can actually drink the water down here and I was speaking to Gary on the elk tour the other day he's saying that like if it's clear and you can see the rocks underneath it you can just basically just put your bottle there and have a sip and even at the tea house yesterday we asked them to fill up my bottle of water they're like we just drink the water from the stream outside that's that fresh that you can actually just drink it but obviously you've got to make sure it's super clear and the higher up you are the better because um, there's less like I guess animals that can poo in there and all that stuff so there's like it's, it's yeah so the higher up you go the more fresh it is I can't believe how clear it is you can see every single rock even from up here Okay, so what we've done is we've walked through the park and the first lower level waterfall is only about half a mile, uh, only half a mile from the entrance. So it, the whole path is paved, so it's not very strenuous. It's really, really easy. And if you don't want to walk too far and you want to see a waterfall, I would definitely recommend coming here. I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. The line is quite long, but there's a line basically to go inside a cave. So I don't know if we're going to stand in line for that because we want to go up to the second uh, higher level waterfall, which is another mile from here. But check out the lower level one and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So. going up 150 meters and uh, checking out the waterfall because this view is where you get like an incredible view of the waterfall. Look at it. us like 25 minutes to get back down from Johnson Falls to the bottom and uh, we've just driven into Banff where we actually were yesterday we're gonna go have some dinner before we head to Calgary we really like this area so we're gonna check out a different restaurant uh, I think it's called Park Distillery hopefully we can get a table over there but if you guys want a little bit of atmosphere I definitely suggest coming to check out the Banff town because on a beautiful day at the weekend it's a lot of bars and a lot of atmosphere and yeah it's just a great place to come hang out Right, so the park distillery, the wait is about 45 minutes, so we're kind of just exploring the area. I've just walked past like a bunch of different sweet shops, but there's a really, really cute one over here. It's got a really nice little front door with like a pink bike in front of it. Um, and I want to go and explore inside because, uh, I mean, it's a proper sweet shop, so I bet they've got some incredible sweets in there. like an old school candy store it goes all the way down there it goes all the way down there and they've got all your old favorites as well like nerds push pops it is absolutely huge wow i wouldn't even know where to start guys i would not even know where to start <laughs> So we just got to dinner at Park Distillery. I think it's a new restaurant over here. It's very, very vibey, nice atmosphere, and uh, just a nice way to end our day. We actually haven't eaten anything today, so uh, we're pretty damn hungry. Uh, we've ordered the wedge salad to start with and the tuna ceviche, but I'm gonna look at the menu to see what we're gonna order next. 
we literally never leave with one bite of food left. We look around and everybody else has left like food on their plates, but ours is just like wiped clean. All right, so we just finished dinner and I had to come back into this sweet shop and get some uh, get some sweets. So we decided to get two things. We're getting some cowboy bark and we're gonna get the Cookie Monster s'mores because it looked amazing. So yeah, very, very excited. Um, no, no, we're actually gonna be driving up this evening, but we'll be there all day. Just found on the way home. <laughs> Told you, I you found it. No, you found it. <laughs> you walked with me on your phone and found it. No. I told you, I can't indulge in school events. I want to leave. I want to go home because we have a long drive. This is a boring old what, Sam. What happened? <laughs> well, you located the closest frozen yogurt spot. I guess right to it. I told you guys, I can't indulge in school events. It has to be all or nothing. So, it's going to be all or nothing. <laughs> Somebody stop me! We just got to Calgary and that is the end of our day. I hope you guys enjoyed our trip to Banff. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on all social media at literallyanega and I will see you in my next video. 